Yeah, I, I mean, did this fight make sense in the rankings and does it make, you know, it's one of those fights where he moved up to 205 again and again, made 205 look easier than 185. Um, and, and it's just, not just me, I mean, everybody, we, we saw, we saw something tonight that you might never fucking see again as long as you live. I mean, what that guy does, the spinning back kick where he steps to the side and then steps back, and, and he just kind of laid in there. He ate some shots. He let him hit him. Um, he was moving his head and then playing with him. And then the minute he said, I'm done, it was done. It's just, it's unbelievable. No, nobody does that. Nobody, nobody in this sport is able to do that. You know, and, and it's why sometimes when I get these guys that start saying, uh, uh, I don't know, Anderson Silva might not be the number one pound. Are you out of your fucking mind? Nobody can do what this guy can do. He's the greatest of all time. And, and I think he's, he's, I think he's the greatest in any combat sport. You don't see anybody. I mean, even, I'm a huge Tyson fan. And in Tyson's heyday, you know, he, Tyson was executing people and you, you were just wondering how long it was going to be until he knocked somebody out. He had this power and this intensity and, and, and this uh, meanness that people were afraid of. Anderson Silva just does amazing things that nobody else can do. Can you pinpoint his reluctance to fight John Jones? I mean, do you think he's just like negotiating he's with play, you? He's playing games with me. That's what he's doing. I know how he works and I know how he thinks. And he always, you know, he always has this thing of being humble where it's not like, I'm going to say, yeah, I'll fight John Jones and I'll beat him. He never does that, you know? He never does that. But I know how he is and <clears throat> he wants to... Uh, he wants to show everybody, by the time he leaves, who the man is. If he really thinks he has five years left, he's not at the tail end of his career. I mean, five years is a very long time. Three fights a year for five years. And like I said, if he continues to go on, it's like one of the media guys asked him here tonight, you know, when do you walk away? And let me tell you what you don't do. You don't walk away after a performance like tonight. He's older than Stefan Bonner. It's just, it's amazing. That, that's what everybody has to put into context, too. The guy's 37 years old going on 38. You know, I'm a little bit older than him. I'm in my early 40s. I can barely get on a fucking treadmill, okay? This guy's doing this shit and stepping out of the way of spinning back kicks. And, Are you shitting me? You know, 37 is when a guy is done. It's over. He's toast. It's, you know, especially in the fight business. Anderson's a guy who hasn't partied. He's a guy who's taken care of himself, um, hasn't abused his body and uh, is just an, a freak of nature when it comes to fighting. He's, he's the greatest ever. I mean, this guy, you know, he, you know people are, are this and that about him and everybody's always him and Han. I'm telling you right now, watch every fight that he has, enjoy every moment that he's here, because when he's gone, you're gonna fucking regret it. You're gonna wish you watched more. It's like Jordan. I think about when Jordan played basketball and even the games that didn't mean a lot, he still did a lot of great shit. It's just, the Anderson Silva is the guy you want to watch when he's fighting, because it's you're going to see some shit you've never seen before in your life. Dana, could you give us your thoughts about the Jake Shield suspension and news broke that he's at?